What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. This is going to be a live video I'm recording here. I'm using Martin Campman. This is going to be the clinch tips video. So, um, I'm going to try to use the clinch a lot and also hopefully maybe defend some of the clinch. Right there, I went for the single collar. That is the easiest clinch. You do that by pressing the right analog stick towards your opponent. Here I'm working some knees. And there I actually did not block the takedown. If you want to block the takedown attempt, you will press uh, R2 and down on the right analog. But uh, the one thing with that too, if you notice, when we are once we enter into this single collar clinch, we're actually at a it's a mutual position. We both can take down. We both can land knees. See, I blocked that one right there. Blocked the takedown. Um, we both can transition. It's a completely equal position. So if someone puts you in here like how I'm just putting uh, Nate Diaz in here, working these knees. Um, you can go for knees too. You can knee, you can attack. It's a neutral. I don't have any kind of advantage at this point. Uh, here, again, is a, a, another neutral over under. Now, if he would have went to the double under or the Muay Thai, then he would have had the advantage. So um, you got to be careful with the clinch attempts too because I've been getting caught trying to practice my clinch um, you you'll be caught w with counters when you're coming in. Um, you see backs up. I'm gonna try to get them up against the cage. This is what you want to do if you are going for the clinch. You want to get them up against the ca cage. There he's doing a. Um, I don't know if people do that intentionally or not, but they can. You can sort of like scoot yourself off the cage. I want to actually figure out how to do that. But here working the knees. Um, Right there, you have two ways to, to get out of this. You can either click in the left analog stick, um, but you, but that one's easier to deny. If you're Nate Diaz, what you want to do is kind of mix it up and try to get off this cage. And I'm just trying to hold him there. There, he mixed it up, and I, I actually didn't time it right. See, but right there, again. But if they're against the cage, which a lot of people, if you are aggressive... You will find a lot of people backing up to the cage. It's a very good idea to go for the clinch. Now, I don't usually go for this many clinches, but I'm just trying to do it for the video. So, again, you, you'll get an automatic Muay Thai clinch if they're near the cage. And here he keeps going in for that same... Um, he just keeps clicking in the button, so I just deny that by doing R2 and up on the right analog stick. And there he went for a takedown again. This isn't a completely neutral position, but he both people it kind of is because both people can go for a takedown. And then right there, I go in for the takedown. Um, the way you do the takedown, it's hard for me to actually remember some of this as I'm even as I'm playing it, which is crazy. But you want to, um, I think it's R2 and transition, or maybe it's R2 and L2. I think <laughs> I get really confused, but as you can see. They'll score big on the scorecards, too, up against the cage. Um, if this is basically offense, you want to do the... Um, for defense, when someone puts you in a clinch, you want to do the... You really want to be active. That's one thing that you do want to... You want to be active, and you want to mix it up and go for switcheroos. If you watch my other video on how to escape mount, talk about the switcheroo, you fake one way and then go the other way. And you can do that in the clinch too, but you you want to start with the transition. So um so right there again, you gotta be careful. He did a lot of damage right there. Um I like to if you're going to go for the clinch you want to make sure to be see right there he went for the clinch that time and I immediately went for the knees and then he broke away I'm going to try to get him up against the fence again here we go um, and then up against the fence you can mix in strikes with your clinches and get some good damage sort of kind of like Cain Velasquez does in real life again he keeps going for the same you know escape so you, you, you are able to hold people here for quite a while if they keep doing the same thing well, like he's doing here he's not doing anything else he keeps trying to do the same thing over and over and I'm just holding R2 and up and I'm just easily being able to hold him here um, 
This isn't really getting a lot of damage done, but it is wasting the round, and it's sort of just, you know, it's just something that I don't know why people, like, what he wants to do, see, he sort of, he see, he, right when he mixed it up, he got out. So you can mix it up like that and get out, get him right back into it. Sometimes I'll even let them out if I think that they're going to, if I can counter them afterwards. See, but he's not really moving forward at all. And you, you can see, you can go from pretty far distance and get that clinch. Um, but again, if, if you're Nate Diaz and you want to get off this, what you want to do is try to, you can fake the transition. Like, he's not he's not actually trying to transition. It's just like the get up, escape button that he keeps pressing. So you want to actually transition. Um, see if, uh, you can also do the Muay Thai whips like that. And a good way to land the knees is to, to wait a second and then throw the knee. But this is just showing how you can, uh, in a live fight, I didn't actually know if this guy was going to let me. Some people are better in the clinch, and you're, you're simply just not able to do this to people. Um, see, he keeps initiating the clinch. I don't know if he's doing that on purpose or not, but as soon as he initiates, then, see, and he and I'm denying his escape, too. Even from the single collar, I'm keeping him in here. I got him. I had to mix it up. That one, do R2 and down instead of R2 and up. That time he went for the transition. You see, then he's able to get off. So you want to mix it up. Don't ever keep doing the same thing over and over. Because, see, right there I denied it, actually. And that's the first line of defense for the clinch. The way you deny that is R2 and up uh, when you see him. It's really quick, though, and there's no real way. The only way to get good at that is to, uh, right here I have him, hurt. He survives right into the clinch. Yeah, you want to try to keep your stamina high as well as everything else in the game. Martin Kamen isn't the best fighter, but he does have a decent clinch. Land a good. Uh, see, I definitely won that round right there. And that's one thing the clinch is good for. If you know, is a line of defense. If you're getting beat up and you think you're just losing the decision. You, you got to try to do something. If you can't get a takedown, you can't really land anything on the feet. That's when the clinch does come into play and is definitely something that you want to n at least know how to use. Even if you're not going to use it in offensive, it's good to definitely know the defense. And he hasn't really been putting me in the clinch right there. You can see just you can get little counters and stuff off the breaks and stuff of the clinch. That's what I like too. Like just like in real life um, on the breaks. You can look to parry counter. You can look to just normal counter. And especially against the cage, people kind of get frustrated. And right when they get out, they like to throw punches. And that's when you can counter them big. So, you know, this has been basically um, the clinch video. And uh, if you guys are enjoying these tips, make sure to leave a like. Um, I also do live tips during my live stream on Twitch.tv. Third round. I'm going to try to go for the finish. Try to mix it up more. Um, again, if you're if you're defending the clinch, you want to just be active. Don't don't be too passive. That's one thing that I used to do is I would kind of just sit in the clinch. You want to actually throw tr strikes too. I'm gonna try to show you guys the uh, double under. You can actually go for the double under. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get it. See right there, it's just you can mix in beautiful. Uh, you can just really mix it up. See here, I got him in the double under. And um, a lot of people don't like this. You can switch. This is why the cage, this is why you really don't want to put your back against the cage against someone who's good in the clinch. Um, a good player, because it, it's it's really tough. He, he actually denied that, that transition right there. And this is just... Uh, Part of the game that uh, a lot of people aren't as familiar with, and I do apologize. That I took long to uh, get this video out, but I wanted to get a lot more practice in with the clinch. It's always good to mix it up, though, because if you only do go for the clinch, you're going to get punished. See, right there. Whew. Whew. Almost got finished. Just would have taken. Okay, sit so right here. This, this is another thing. Could go for the submission. I sort of baited him. That's another thing I'm going to actually do a video on shortly. Is this, this new technique I found out. where It's sort of like a, a roundabout way how to pull guard. 
with certain fighters. Really, really cool. I definitely think you guys would, you know, like to try it out. If, if you're into the grappling, if you're into the ground game and the jiu-jitsu, it's definitely fun to try this this little tip out. I'm not going to really say in this video, but uh, he, he uh, all right, so only a minute left. Definitely wants to keep it on the feet. Campman's got good range, but not a lot of power. Right there, this is the other part of the clinch. I just got rocked right there. The clinch can save you, and that just saved me right there. My head was completely red. That was a death rock. And you go for that single collar clinch, try to get a sway, and then go for that clinch. 22 seconds, he might try to get reckless. Looks like he's not going to risk it. And we're going to probably just win the decision. And that is the video, guys. I'm going to bring up the scorecards. Hopefully I did win the decision with all that clinching. That actually counts pretty good for the um, for the scorecards. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's take a look who won. If I if I lost, I lost. But, you know, let's take a, take a look at the scorecards here. Yeah, we did get the win right there. And as you can see... The clinch not only is good, but it can save you. That's another thing at the end of that video. Look at that. 17 significant strikes. Um, really didn't really get hit too much at all. Uh, just basic control. That clinch is very good for winning fights, guys, and surviving if you did not see at the end of the video. That is the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. It helps out the channel a lot. Also, follow me on Twitch TV and Twitter. Until next time, this has been MMA Game. Peace.